The second contest on a Saturday night at Monmouth at the Meadowlands is a $25,000 claimer, a maiden claimer at that for two-year-olds going one mile on grass with the rails all the way down. The three code enforcers, a third-time starter who made a good middle move in his debut and then hit some traffic. Second time out, he was bottomed out, chasing a very fast pace. He was an $18,000 purchase as a two-year-old out of a quality turf mare, one who uh, did well in stakes races, actually, on this circuit. I think he's a live drop-down to the maiden 25 level, still above the price of the purchase. He's an apparent new gelding as well. My only issue with him is, despite the excuses in the first two races, he didn't really run hard through the wire. I like to see my turf horses finish a little bit better. Number seven back by, though, I think can finish really well in this spot. He's making his third start, second time on turf, second time with blinkers. He drops to a career low. His best figure by far came in his debut on the grass. He was green in that race, and then he was troubled. The contest was won by a stakes-quality horse. Back Bio has a stout pedigree, and I think uh, there's the prospect of pace in here that could accentuate his finish. The 8 Magical Monarch, though, is the horse I'm selecting in race two. He's another apparent new gelding. This is the second start. He debuts for aggressive new connections, significantly below the price that he was purchased at at a horses and racing age sale in July. That was a $55,000 tag there, in for 25 here. But the, the connections like to win, and they do play the game aggressively. Magical Marnock in his debut ran five furlongs at Ellis Park on dirt on a sloppy seal surface. Nine races at Ellis that day. Eight of them won by speed. Zero of the nine were won by horses who were more than one or two paths wide. Magical Monarch was well off the pace, and he was very wide, ran against a strong double bias. Accounting for days in which the Mammoth uh, surface was closed for training, this horse in preparation for this has his conditioner's signature work pattern for a horse coming off a layoff. I think he's going to run really well in this matchup, and his sire, Good Magic, is proving to be a really live grass influence, even though he never ran on this surface. Race two, the eight, Magical Monarch.